Viet, Cacla, Cacla, Spasiba. Давай. Окей. It's your first time in Russia? No, not my first time. It's my first time. I stay a couple more days in Russia, uh, especially here in Moscow. I come many times to Chechnya to training of the guys there, to teach you the guys from Berkut for fight or whatever. I'm doing a lot of camps there, and then also I pass by Moscow a couple of times. Как ты проводил время все это? Ты тренировался? So what did you do here in Moscow? Did you train, relax, have fun, sightseeing? Yeah, now is my so now is my vacation. It's not vacation. I have to work, of course. But this is my vacation. I just fought in the UFC and three weeks ago. And now I come here to enjoy, to know more in Moscow. I walk. I go to Red Square. I go to a lot of places. I eat a lot here. You know. Uh, what's the name? I forget the names. I like a rice. Kravitska. Uh, I, I forget the name. Gretska. Gretska. <laughs> I try Gretska. Uh, okay. Um, звезды бразильского джиу-джитсу очень много uh, гастролируют и дают семинары. Не мешает ли это тренировочному графику? So a lot of uh, top players in uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. They go do a lot of seminars around, they're traveling around. Does that interfere with your personal training before the tournaments? No, no, yet. Not yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> they didn't interfere. You know, of course, this is my vacation, but I still train. That's the most important. Every time when I fought, I fight in MMA. So I, my vacation, I start training Jiu Jitsu again with Gi. So, Jiu Jitsu with Gi is my background, so that's the most important for me. Don't don't let my Jiu Jitsu level going down. That that's why I always training Jiu Jitsu after my fight, because when I fight MMA, so I put more focus in a lot of stuff, so box, Muay Thai, wrestling, so mix and MMA. So it's hard to to keep focus on Jiu Jitsu. Ты начал выступать, как ты говорил, в 12 лет. А в каком возрасте ты планируешь закончить компетиторскую карьеру? So you have started training jiu-jitsu when you were only 12 years old. And when do you expect to finish your career if ever? Jiu-jitsu, man, jiu-jitsu, no, I don't know. Competition career. Uh, yeah, competition career, so maybe, I don't know. We, we not, never know to when you can train, you can fight, you know, so, but Uh, I hopefully I can fight much more time. I don't know, 39, 40 years old. That's the age, you know, the top age when you stop to fight. So, but my body gonna see. Is my body it say okay? I will fight. You know, I cannot fight forever, but I will train it forever, 100%. percent. Ты будешь выступать 30 июня здесь, и у тебя будет титульный поединок против Лука Салепри. Как ты считаешь? Не слишком ли быстро назначили титульный поединок? Ты совсем недавно получил титул и не слишком ли быстро назначили? Uh, you, you just got the title. Uh, you don't think it's it been too uh, short of a time before you have to defend it? It's a little bit short time, you know. But uh, my really focus in uh, is in MMA. So now I have uh, my two last fights I won. That's when my focus is. My focus is and the UFC, you know. So Jiu Jitsu is my ho my hobby. So I like to compete Jiu Jitsu. Of course, I never, I always, I fight to win, to win the fight. No, no, no matter who coming to fight against me, I want to fight to beat him. But uh, Jiu Jitsu is my hobby. I'm coming here and then I do my best. A short time. I have only one one month to train for the fight. It's not uh, the best way because uh, Lucas Lepri, so his life training Jiu Jitsu. He teach Jiu Jitsu, he live Jiu Jitsu, he dream Jiu Jitsu, he, he slept Jiu Jitsu and I hope we can fight very well because Jiu Jitsu is in my blood. No matter how much time I training, it's in my blood. I will give my best there. So I really love Gi. But I'm mean, always I'm really be better and no gi. But anyway, this is my game. I come in there and then put my game on the show, and then I, I will won. Yeah, 100%. So I lost 
for one mistake the last time for the Grand Prix. You know, I fought in the Grand Prix for the uh, Edwin, the Jimmy. Um, man, I didn't realize I lost in Nogi, you know. Nobody can beat me in Nogi. I hope so. And I will be back in the season of Nogi, and then I'll be the champion of the ACB, 100%. Кого ты назовешь самым сложным противником в твоем весовом дивизионе ACB No Gi? So who do you think is your toughest opponent in your weight class in ACB? Lucas Lepri, that's the toughest guy there. So, in this division, man, ACB is a, man, is a UFC of a Jiu Jitsu, you know? So they have the best guys and all the divisions, they have the best guys. So we have a lot of tough guys and that division, anyone we can get is tough, you know. Specifically, uh, when you fight in Nongi, who is your toughest guy in Nongi? Man, we have a lot of uh, tough guy uh, fight Nongi, you know. So, and, 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 and ACB, I think the most tough guys is the Lucas Lev too, you know. The guy is a very com complete, complete, so they are, they pass, they they doing what they take down, you know. And also he's very very technical guy, you know. So but we have uh, uh, Lucas, we have uh, Michael Lang, you have uh, uh, Marcio Andre, you have uh, a lot of guys, good guys, you know. And then you have uh, David Ramos. <laughs> So I'm Davi Ramos. I will fight 3rd of June and ACB for the title. I hopefully you guys come in, enjoy and support me to, to still uh, defeat my, my title. And I hope you guys get your ticket and come to enjoy the show. Thank you guys. Я очень не люблю фотографироваться со звездами, но мы сделаем видео селфи. Ос. Ос. Видео записано в Лудус Дом. Кстати, в это воскресенье, 17 июня, в Лудус Дом состоится открытый ковер. Open Mat начнется в 12.00 блоком для детей. В 13.30 приглашаются только девушки. И в 15.00 ковер открыт для взрослых всех желающих. 